Google search process 99,000 search queries per day. It processes 8.5 billion queries per month and more than 2 trillion queries in a whole year. And it's really important for your store or your brand to show up in Google searches. And there are many factors contributing to search engine optimization in which some of the important factor I'm going to point out now, which is having a good SEO friendly sitemap, having properly uh, follow, do follow, no follow index tags added to your store or your website. So Google can understand that whether to index the specific page or not. Unfortunately, Shopify does not have the feature where you can add no index to the page. So if you mistakenly create any product page or any blog page or any other page, it's you don't have the feature to add in the no index, meaning Google will automatically index your page if your sitemap is submitted. In this video, I'll show you guys an app through which you can manage the no index tag on the specific pages. So all you have to do is just add in the URL and you'll be able to manage the no index. Also, you'll be able to create an HTML sitemap, which you can add in navigation, which will help your store to rank better. And having a good search ranking, is really important. And if you are only relying on Google paid ads, then I will highly suggest you to watch this video, which will help you improve your SEO and reduce your paid ad spending. So if you want to learn how to improve that, make sure to watch the complete video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel, which will help me create more valuable for content for you guys. So without further ado, let's get into the screen. So guys, that's the app which I will discuss about today. And what this app will do, it will generate an HTML sitemap. Now you must be asking, why do you need an HTML sitemap? This is because HTML is more preferred method, more preferred format of a sitemap, which Google suggests. And uh, Shopify does not have that. Shopify ha has XML style sitemap. It doesn't have HTML sitemap. This app will generate an HTML sitemap and it will also add the feature to add no index, no follow to specific pages and URLs. Because if you have Shopify, you might have duplicate content issue on your product pages because Shopify generates collection and product pages, separate URLs for the same pages. So basically these are two different URLs for uh, collection and product pages, but the content and the product is same. Basically those are dynamically generated uh, URLs, which you cannot control and uh, you will need to add no index and no follow to those URLs if you want to save your store from duplicate content issue. So that's the app and uh, it costs 3.49 a month, which is far more less than how much you are spending on your store on paid ads. It has a seven day free trial. So you can try this app, see if it optimized your store, if it boosts SEO of your store and then uh, pay them for just $3.49 a month. Okay, so that's the back end of the app. So all you have to do first after installing this app. So I'll add the link of this app in YouTube video description and you will click on install button here. And once you install the app, you will have a screen like this. Installing this app, you will need to enable this app from this button here, enable app embed. So once you click on this button, and click on activate button here, the app will be activated. And the second step you will need to do is add an HTML sitemap, right? So that is an HTML sitemap, which you can add in your menu. And uh, once you click on this HTML sitemap here, click on this green color add HTML sitemap, and it will generate a URL like this. So that's a URL of an HTML sitemap, which you can add in your menu all the steps are mentioned here. So it's really important to have an HTML sitemap on your website because Google loves to have that on your store and on your website. So I suggest you guys should have that HTML sitemap. Now the second step is to submit the sitemap to Google search console. So you will just go to submit XML sitemap here and then click on submit XML sitemap. And that's the URL of your sitemap which you will need to submit to Google search console. I have created multiple videos on that. Uh, there is a video which you will find 
in the screen somewhere where you can learn how to create a Google Search Console account and submit sitemap to Google Search Console. Google Search Console is basically a tool which will give you all of the details through organic searches. So whoever is coming to your store or your website through organic Google searches, this tool will measure that traffic and give you the CTR click through rate impression and the keywords which is generating traffic to your store or your website. So that's really important. You should know how to submit your sitemap to Google Search Console. That is really an important part of SEO. Uh, I have created a video for that. You will find the link in the video description or somewhere around the screen. And uh, finally, we have recommended settings where how can we manage the no index, no follow for our search results. And it's really important because uh, there might be tags, filters and uh, vendors indexed on Google, which you don't want to get indexed. And you can simply add no follow and no index by going to this setting here. So click on manage no index, no follow. And uh, you can simply add no index, no follow to custom URLs. So if I go to URLs here and click on view, you can see that we have the option here to add the URLs. So whatever URL we will add here and uh, click on save button here it will automatically add no index to those specific pages and you don't have to play around with the code to do that. You just have to mention the URL here and it will automatically add the no follow thing to those specific URLs. And uh, you can do the same with the product pages, with the collection pages. So again, as I said, Shopify generates multiple URLs for products. So one URL might have slash collection on the product page URL and the other URL might not have the slash collection thing. So I suggest you should always have the smallest URL submitted to Google and the other URL, which is really long. You should add no follow to that URL, which will help boost your SEO ranking and it will reduce PPC, the paid ads spending and slow and steady. You'll start getting the sales from the Google organic searches. Google organic searches and search engine optimization is slow as compared to paid ads, but it is a long term game. So for example, if you are spending $100 a month for your paid ads, you should be doing 80, 20, like $80 spent on paid ads and then $20 on SEO because in the longer run, it will give you the benefit because after like 12 months or six months, it will reduce your paid ad spending. So if you were spending like $80, it will be reduced to $60 a month. So that's my suggestion. And I have already tested for multiple stores, multiple websites. We have literally reduced or completely removed the paid ads spending for one of my client. I will create that video as well. Uh, separately because that's a case study where we completely remove the need of paid ads to get leads for the puppies which my client was selling so that's uh, a video for another day and uh, that's it for the today's video where i wanted to show you guys the sitemap no index pro app shopify app and how it can help you boost your seo rankings so if you want to boost your ranking try installing this app and see if it works for you. Until next video, have a great day.